Hi, you are watching module 1 videos. In module 2, we have around 120 videos. We teach Java with Selenium in real time. So, end to end Java will be there and end to end Selenium will be there in complete real time. We provide classroom training as well as online training. So, complete Java and Selenium will be there in real time. Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft Video Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will discuss about how to rerun the failed test cases in Selenium automatically using iRetry Analyzer and iAnnotation Transformer Listener. In the previous videos, we discussed the three approaches, right? Now, this is the fourth approach, right? Now, see here the steps to implement uh, to rerun the failed test case automatically using iRetry Analyzer and iAnnotation Transformer. Step 1 step one our class our custom class should implement should implement i retry analyzer if you don't know how to do this just watch my previous video i retry analyzer step 2 step 2 override 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 retry method of method of I retry analyzer to execute the failed test cases automatically. Step 3 create custom class class using using I annotation transformer I annotation transformer and override transform method to set the custom annotations like uh, custom annotations like uh, if you want you can set the what i retry analyzer as well right so how we can set up all those things we'll see in the few minutes now create testng dot xml file and configure listeners step 5 run testng dot testng dot xml file right so these are the steps we need to follow okay yes now we'll see here step by step one by one now see here let me take one class so i'm taking annotation retry Yes, now this should implements what is that? Implements, sorry, implements I annotation transformer, right? Now in this class we are having a method called what is that method? Transform method, right? Now see what I am doing here. Just observe here what I am doing. So always this transform method is going to be executed once our test method is completed. So now see what I am doing. Now I am getting uh, is any test method associated with the uh, retry analyzer. If so, get me that uh, retry analyzer. Now I am getting I retry analyzer. Now I am getting analyzer. Analyzer. Right. Now if this analyzer is not there, if it is null, if analyzer if analyzer is equal to is equal to null then uh, set retry analyzer right now i am doing uh, annotation dot uh, set uh, retry analyzer yes which retry analyzer you want to set it where this retry analyzer is there this is my retry analyzer or not yes custom retry analyzer custom retry analyzer dot class right yes now see here, so this transform method is going to be executed as soon as uh, once our test method is completed. So once it is executed, automatically which thing is going to be executed? Our test method is going to be executed. Now let me annotate this method as a what? At the rate test. Now see here, is my test method is associated with any listener? No, right? So what is the value I am going to get it? Null or not? Yes, if it is null, I am setting what? The retry analyzer to what? 
custom reader analyzer or not yes now here what i am doing select this testng.xml file run as testng suit now here what happens yes java.line. okay so let me change this uh, to what is that now i need to change this uh, listener to now i need to change this listener to i annotation all right now just to change this now see here what i'm doing select this xml file run as test ng suit now see here what happens yes chrome browser is started yes now gmail page is open now it will wait for how many seconds 9 seconds is there any element with id is equal to identify id yes now see second time is executing or not yes so total how many times it is going to execute four times see the output see the console yes see here check first time it is executing or not yes see here see here second time is executing or not yes count is what to executing which test case login test case yes now again it is executing what third time so total how many times it is going to be executed four times let's to see the screen yes fourth time is executing or not yes let's see the console yes count is fourth executing test case what is the test case login test case yes clear so see total how many times is executing one two yes one more is what three and one more is what four yes or no yes right so this is the way to run failed test cases using i retry analyzer and i annotation transformer from testng.xml now see here all the steps we implemented are not just observe here once just observe here now see here what is the first step our class should implement what is that i retry analyzer now see here yes see here our class is implementing what is that i retry analyzer or not yes to execute the failed test cases automatically right so based on our count what is the second step see here override what is the method retry method to execute the what failed test cases now see here are we overriding retry method yes yes we are overriding the retry method to execute the what failed test cases now what is the step 3 see here create custom class using i annotation transformer and override what is the method transform method now see here to execute our custom listeners now see here so we created one class and it is implementing i annotation transformer or not yes in this we are overriding what is the method transform method to set the what our custom analyzers or not yes for our corresponding methods right now next step what is the fourth step see here create testng.xml file and configure what listener see here the same thing we did or not yes open this testng.xml file yes we created and we are configuring what listeners or not yes now what is the next step run the what testng.xml file the same thing we did or not yes we run it xml testng.xml file or not yes right now our test case whenever we run this uh, our test case is getting failed or not yes so here in gmail page is there any identifier id identifier not there because in gmail file that username is having what is the id id is equal to identifier id but there is no id is equal to what identifier that's why our test case is going to be failed and once our test case execution is done automatically which thing is going to be executed our uh, annotation is going to be executed right our retry method is going to be executed but before that once as soon as our test method is executed automatically which thing is going to be executed our transform method is going to be executed and then our retry analyzer is going to be executed right so this is about listeners so i covered uh, in my videos all listeners including test ng as well as selenium okay so if anybody wants to know about more practical knowledge in listeners you can watch my previous videos okay thanks for watching the video have a good day thanks so much